Hello Taurus, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing well today. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit, okay? So off camera, I shuffle the Oracle deck that I'm going to use for your reading today and I pull four cards, Taurus. So let's see, the first card I got was Bound by Love, Deep Connection, Attachment. Okay, then we have Divine Connection, Miracles, Magic. <laughs> then we have Happiness, Prosperity, Conclusions. Then we have News, Notice, and Information. So Taurus, you're, it looks like you're about to get some information. Communication is what I'm getting with this bell here. There's going to be some type of announcement or something that's going to make you very happy. Um, I feel like we're going to see if this is old or new, but you could be... Um, going into a deep connection with somebody or you already have a deep connection that you're uh with somebody that you're connecting to right now it feels magical okay this is like this love here is like a uh, hard to find basically so you're connecting with somebody you're having the um there's a connection here with somebody okay it's a divine connection somebody here that you're supposed to be with you know at this time in your life so let's see what's going on okay clarify this energy here for taurus oh somebody here could be getting locked up though <laughs> okay i don't know clarify this energy here for taurus spirit but happiness is here for you taurus so let's see clarify this energy here for taurus spirit sun moon rising venus and north node let's see but yeah look ace of cups <laughs> bottom of the deck is ace of cups okay you're getting some new love here taurus new love is here honey could be dealing with the cancer pisces or scorpio yeah it's time to be loved on taurus it's you know happy birthday shit i'm a taurus sun and moon my birthday is in um may on the 20th so i'm surprised i ain't coming here with that shit i'm gonna start this over now but whatever happy birthday though y'all <laughs> two 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 Two, two, two on the uh, timer. So yeah, let's see what's going on for Taurus. Clarify this energy here for Taurus, there, please. What's going on for Taurus? Clarify this here for Taurus. Okay, five of swords. Hmm. Clarify this here for Taurus. <laughs> okay, why is somebody being five of swords? Okay, king of pentacles. What's going on for Taurus? Clarify this energy. The Eight of Cups, yeah, okay. What's going on for Taurus? The High Priestess. Hmm. Four more here for Taurus. Queen of Swords in reverse. What's going on for Taurus? <laughs> what the fuck is this, Taurus? Three of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign. Strong Pisces here too. What's going on for Taurus? We're dealing with the Leo with the strength card. One more. Look, <laughs> three of wands and the ace of cups flipped over. Knight of pentacles, knight of wands. For some of you guys, you have two options coming in. Okay. So, Taurus. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. So you could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is you, Taurus. It's King of Pentacles energy, whether you're a male or a female, it doesn't matter. Somebody is stable, they're secure, okay? Um, <clears throat> it looks like you're walking away from a situation here, Taurus. You're walking away from something that you're not emotionally fulfilled, and it's taking all your strength and your courage to do something, to walk away from this, because you're not happy. I feel like something is, is hurting you here, or somebody broke your heart here. Okay, somebody here could be married or, or could be trying to get a divorce from a bitter-ass ex. Okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. This bound by love with these handcuffs on this card and this rose is giving me that somebody is keeping somebody in a connection that they don't want to be in, okay? And I feel like you're moving on and you're going to have a deep soul bond with, with this new love here. But yeah, you're walking away to find your happiness here. You're, you're moving on. You gain your confidence, your, str your strength. Okay, you feel good. You look good. I just feel like you're moving on. There, there could be a lot of deceit or things being hidden here. 
that you have no clue about okay and um oh looking for this deck um <clears throat> for some of you this is a third party situation but i feel like you're leaving something in the past and you're moving forward with the high priestess with the news above that you're receiving downloads right now taurus your intuition is very strong right now there could be something here that you already know that you're going to be finding out about okay some of you guys could be tarot readers you could be very um psychic as well but let's see what's going on here <gasps> excuse me yeah bottom of the deck we have turning point karma and destiny hmm. so let's see for taurus spirit what's going on for taurus let's see why is this five of swords here somebody here is playing mind games whoever this bitter person is they're playing mind games here. they're trying to keep somebody stuck I feel like somebody is codependent. This person is a liar. Okay. Could be dealing with a Libra. Strong Libra here too. Why is this um five of swords here? For Taurus. What is this five of swords about? Okay, the Hermit. The Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo. I have Virgo somewhere in your chart. Somebody is trying to leave a family situation. Somebody's in the in hermit mode right now, doing some introspection, trying to figure out what they want here. I, I'm guessing. Eight of swords, three of swords, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's see. What is this five of swords right here for Taurus? <clears throat> okay, somebody is bitter. Somebody is bitter. Somebody's in the magician in reverse energy, Virgo, Gemini energy. Could be a Libra as well. Yeah, somebody is doing some, somebody could be doing some type of spell work here, trying to do love spells to bound somebody. Okay. With this bound by love with these handcuffs, somebody is very codependent and very much so a loser. Just period. The magician in reverse right here is trickery energy. It could mean spell work, but we're going to see. I don't know. The Queen of Swords in reverse, they do shit like that. This person is very mean. They're bitter. And they're trying to cause confusion here, illusions. What is this bound by, uh, I'm sorry. What is this five of swords with the magician in reverse? So it's definitely in trickery energy. Yeah, four swords. Two of pentacles, nine of swords, the devil. Hmm. Oh boy. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Somebody is playing on somebody's mind and their finances as well. There's a lot of nervousness here. A lot of like jittery energy. I, I don't know. With the two of pentacles, somebody could be trying to make a decision about their finances or they're juggling a lot when it comes down to their finances. Somebody is stressed with the nine of swords. It could be this person here doing this magic or whatever the fuck they're doing in this five of swords and magician in reverse energy. This person is definitely trying to manipulate something. Maybe because they're fucking broke. Okay. But with the four sword, what's this magician in reverse? a magician in reverse for Taurus yeah two of cups wanted to pop out yeah I told you love spells the magician in reverse with the two of cups is definitely giving me somebody doing some type of love some type of spell work here somebody could be doing spell work on a connection whoever you're connected to Taurus somebody's doing spell work on your connection to keep you two separated as well because there is love here between two people. And whoever this is knows that you have a deep bond with someone or whatever. And they're trying to do spell work to break it apart. Or they could just be doing spell work to keep this person attached to them. So I'm definitely feeling third party. What is this four swords? I mean, it never fucking fails. Yeah, these six of cups here. This could be somebody from your past, Taurus. Yeah, with the Three of Wands and the Empress, with the Nine of Swords. I feel like somebody's trying to get to you, Taurus. You make this person happy, yeah, with the Sun and the Queen of Cups. You're the Empress with the Queen of Cups, Taurus. I feel like somebody wants to come towards you, somebody from your past, but they're stuck dealing with a fucking loser. <laughs> or this person is trying to do spell work here. Somebody is thinking about you. They're really contemplating something here. They're trying to stay calm with the Four of Swords. 
that's like zen energy somebody trying to keep calm keep still here thinking um uh doing introspection yeah somebody knows that you have a deep connection with somebody from a past life with the six of cups here so okay very weird what is this uh king of pentacles okay the hermit yeah virgo energy what's this king of pentacles with the hermit the moon the star you could be dealing with the cancer or uh, aquarius libra gemini virgo somebody is hiding away here whoever this king of pentacles is i don't even feel like that's you taurus you could be dealing with another taurus or something like that or another earth sign placement somebody that has an earth sign placement highly aspected somewhere or in their big three Somebody's moon sign could be Cancer or Taurus or Virgo. Um, What's this moon right here, man? Somebody, what's this moon? Somebody is heartbroken and secret. Somebody's in their feelings here. What's this moon right here? Or there's some lies and deceit. What's this moon? Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody here is in love with you, Taurus, but... There's a choice between two here. Somebody's burdened by this fucking queen of swords. In reverse. This knight of wands energy is in reverse. is lies, cheating. Somebody here could just feel like they're not confident enough to come towards you yet. Okay, because you could be in masculine energy right now, Taurus. If you're a female, you're, in, you're if you're a woman, you're in masculine energy right now. You're definitely running your shit here. <laughs> you're, you're on your shit, Taurus. What's this, um... What's this hermit right here? What's the hermit? What's this hermit? Because what is this? <laughs> like the queen of pentacles. Wow. The queen of pentacles with the king of pentacles. So somebody here knows that you're their divine counterpart. You are their match here. They have a deep soul bond with you. But there's heartbreak involved in the situation. Okay. There's a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of hurt and pain here. Yeah, somebody's in the Five of Pentacles. Your person is probably the King of Pentacles too now, but they're dealing with the Knight of Wands in reverse or they just don't feel confident enough to come towards you yet. What's this moon with the Knight of Wands in reverse? What's this moon with the Knight of Wands in reverse? Please, spirit. Yeah, the sun. Enlightenment here. There's Okay, the Knight of Wands could just mean delays as well. I feel like there's a lot of things have been delayed between you and someone, Taurus, due to whatever this bitter Betty bitch is down here. <laughs> Somebody is fucking bitter and upset and they're mad. Okay. Um, the Knight of Wands could also mean that somebody is like hasty. Somebody is ready to do something. There's unfinished business here with the sun. I feel like you make this person happy. You're literally a match here. Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. You're literally a match between this person. Something is coming to light here with the sun. It could be could be dealing with the Leo. Have Leo somewhere in your chart. I feel like somebody's doing some weird shit though. Somebody's being aggressive towards this masculine energy. And I feel like you're in hermit mode right now, Taurus. You're in the Queen of Pentacles energy right now. Your money is looking good. Okay, you're very wise. You're very smart here. But I feel like you and two people aren't talking to each other because they're somebody's dealing with some bullshit. Yeah, two of swords, four of wands, ten of swords. Hmm. Some of you guys are in um you're a psychologist or um you're a therapist of some sort. Some of you guys can work from home and have a business from home here. But the Knight of Wands energy, I, I don't know, with the sun, I feel like somebody knows. Somebody's either going to be exposed for this behavior, this arrogant, fucking, overly confident behavior, this jealous behavior. I feel like this jealous behavior is coming to the light here. The masculine is saying that this jealous behavior is coming to the light. Whoever's in masculine energy, okay, it could be your masculine. Yeah, and it also could be that this person here could be hiding the fact that they're not... Um, <clears throat> they're fearful of something somebody is scared of something 
What's this Eight of Cups for Taurus? Somebody's walking away. Yeah, look, the Empress. <laughs> that's you, Taurus. Most definitely that's you. You're the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. This person here could be married to somebody that's fucking... I don't know. They have an issue. Somebody's a, a loser, whoever this is. They have a mental issue as well. Yeah, this fucking... Um, you 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 found your worth here, Taurus. You're walking away because you're not happy with something. You're going towards your happiness. Something is over anyways. It says conclusions, prosperity, and happiness. So you're you're definitely going towards what you want to go towards. <laughs> Whatever's going to make you happy. What's the Eight of Cups with the Empress? Somebody could be walking away from their baby mama, baby daddy. What's the Eight of Cups with the Empress? Yeah, the devil in reverse. Yeah, releasing toxicity. You're not being bothered with this shit, I, shit here. I don't know what this is in the background. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, the world. Something is over and you're going straight into prosperity like the car said. You're working on your finances here. You are destined for some beautiful shit here. You could be receiving communication about some money, Taurus, or you're receiving some money. Money is coming towards you quickly. Some of you guys are world-renowned. Whatever you do on stage or whatever you do on social media or whatever you do here is going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles energy. But you definitely had to drop whatever, whoever is in this toxic energy, you had to drop this person because they own some bullshit. I don't know. Could be a Capricorn. What's this um, high priestess right here? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely um, tarot readers or you do some type of divination work here. You're astrologers or something like that. You're really working on your finances, Taurus. You're being definitely, yeah, you're in creative energy here with the, you're in your purpose here with the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Page of Cups energy is um, psychic. Your psychic abilities are definitely increasing at this time. So if you, if you are a tarot reader or you do psychic work here, now is a good time for you to put shit together to you know bring in more audience or do more creative shit with your tarot readings here or whatever but um yeah your business is flourishing here you're, you're goal oriented here you're really focused on your work okay and you're definitely receiving signs and symbols and synchronicities at this time your dreams could be significant but you're definitely in a very um you're very desirable right now people desire you here that's why new love is coming to you because you give off a very sensual desirable energy Okay, and you're smart. You're very, very smart. Yeah. People see that you're working hard here. You're definitely working hard on something. Let's see. What's the high priestess with the eight of pentacles? So you could be getting news about your money as well. Or information, like I said, is coming to your... Okay, four of wands... For the two of swords right there. Yeah, you're making a decision here. You're making a final decision. You're, you're going through an awakening right now, Taurus. I don't know if you've been feeling weird or maybe you could feel like something is coming here. You just don't know what. So I, I don't know. I, I know I do personally. <laughs> I don't know what's coming, but I feel like something is coming. Okay. For one, some of you guys could be celebrating something. You're celebrating something here. For some of you, this is your twin flame. Some news coming in about your twin flame connection if you have a twin. So this person wants to work on the connection. But the four of wands is usually a celebratory time here. A gathering, a getting together, a, a party. Okay, you could be celebrating getting a new home here. But I don't know. I see good things coming towards you, Taurus. I really do. So let's see. What's this queen of swords in reverse? Okay, six of wands. This person is cocky as fuck when they don't need to be. They're a fucking loser. Just queen of swords in reverse with the six of wands. Somebody here... Somebody here is dramatic. They like attention here or something like that. They're a fucking fan. What's this queen of swords in reverse with the six of wands? Yeah, ten of wands. They're burdened as fuck. They're burdened. Queen of swords right here upright with the fool. Then we have the King of Swords. Definitely somebody going through a divorce here or a bad breakup or something. There could be a child involved here with the full energy. But yeah, somebody wants a new beginning and somebody won't let somebody go towards a new beginning. What's this Six of Wands? Somebody here thinks that they're going to get a victory in something. You guys will be seeing 666. What's this Six of Wands right here? Because this person has a lot of people 
rooting for them this queen of swords this person has a lot of people behind them or behind what they're doing so that's why they feel like they're victorious or they're going to win something or whatever what's the six of wands with this queen of swords in reverse okay page of cups 12 12 on the timer those are twin flame numbers you could be dealing with the twin here page of cups with the ten of wands what's this page of cups with this ten of wands yeah this could be about a child it could be arguments and, and somebody's lying about some children or what's this uh queen of swords with this ten of wands and this page of cups okay yeah six of swords yeah moving on moving forward so whoever this is this is your person taurus dealing with this fucking queen of swords in reverse they're trying to move on from them and there, there could be a custody battle or some shit going on taurus over a child here but i feel like somebody is choosing to go down a path that they're destined to go down so somebody here is getting a victory over this queen of swords is what it's looking like here what's this ten of wands what's this ten of wands somebody's spreading rumors somebody's gossiping yeah the nine of swords with the ten of wands somebody is stressed out while somebody else is moving forward, yeah, somebody made a final decision to move forward or they're going through an awakening process right now, which is helping them move away from this person. This person is very mean-spirited. Yeah. The Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, somebody's burdened or stressed. It could be this Queen of Swords right here. They're stressed. They have a lot of shit on their plate or something is weighing them down here. They could be somebody has like a mental problem they're hallucinating or they're fucking being haunted by their actions whatever the bullshit is that they're doing yeah with the judgment yeah what's this um three of swords right here but there's communication here i feel like somebody wants to apologize to you taurus or there's good news this is good news about a child for somebody okay and somebody's getting a victory over this queen of swords that's why they're mad that's why this queen of swords is in reverse What's this three of swords? So there's some communication coming in. Maybe somebody wants to apologize to you. They're coming towards you to apologize. What's this three of swords right here for Taurus? Okay, yeah, four of cups. What's this three of swords with this four of cups? The world, yeah. There's a cycle here that's closed out and there's a lot of heartbreak here. I feel like you've healed and you're moving on. <laughs> so, but I mean, I feel like maybe a little part of you is still kind of like bummed out because I don't know, this was a big, big thing in your life here that really, really went bad. Okay, this is a, a big, a major cycle here, a major karmic lesson or whatever. And I feel like you handled your karma. So you're going into happiness now, but somebody is feeling discontent or unhappy or bored or things are stagnant here. I feel like somebody is dreaming about you with the four of cups. But somebody's really unhappy. They're really, really feeling down. What's this four of cups? Or this person missed the opportunity with you. So there's heartbreak here. There's pain. There's sadness here. What's this four of cups? Yeah, ten of pentacles. Somebody's like, damn, I could have had it all with Taurus. Yep, ten of pentacles. Somebody could be grieving or sad about um, a, 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 fa a family situation. Somebody could be bored in a family situation here, but there's money though. <laughs> I feel like that's what somebody is saying. There's money, there's stability in this family situation some type of way, I don't know. But they're sad, they're upset here. Or oh, this is you. I feel like Taurus, if this is you right here, you could be a little bit bored right now, but honey, it's something is about to be shaking up for you because the cycle is closed out. You close the cycle out. Yes, it hurt, but you're going right into the 10 of pentacles here. Wealth, prosperity, um in every aspect of your life spiritually mentally emotionally physically all that shit you're going to be well taken care of here but yeah because you successfully closed something out that hurt really really bad somebody here could have passed away Taurus. i'm sorry to hear that if somebody passed away We'll be dealing with another Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. What's the strength card? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. One more for the strength card with the Eight of Swords. 
you have ace, ace of pentacles somebody here is losing hella money bro i feel like there's been a lot of delays with finances here with whatever this is i feel like somebody has been very much so disloyal to you and that's what's stuck in their head because the ace of pentacles it doesn't have to mean just like money or and things like that it could talk about something that's uh, that's solid a foundation that's built off trust loyalty commitment okay somebody here is losing money in a commitment is what i feel like somebody here is stuck this is not your energy here the eight of swords somebody is overthinking something or they're stuck with somebody that's a fucking loser and you release all the shit whether it be that person and your person you release both things here because it's like somebody somebody took a big financial loss what's this ace of pentacles in reverse i feel like this is you you are the loss as well as somebody's finances is a big loss too but you're going into um i feel like you are meeting your counterpart here somebody here that matches you on it on an um, energetic level right now somebody that you can be with right now so if your person is still stuck in a marriage it might be somebody different definitely see ace of cups here so definitely what's this um excuse me what's this eight of swords somebody's trying to gain the confidence and the strength to work through whatever this yeah the will of fortune here is in reverse on my lap it fell out of my lap in reverse so yeah karma somebody is stuck here Somebody is something is not turning out in someone's favor. Somebody's life is just hell right now. I don't know who this is. Yeah, with the will of fortune in reverse, it's bad luck, bad karma, chaos, things taking a turn for the worse here. What's this ace of pentacles in reverse? You have a star. It could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with, or you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Yeah. Um Somebody's trying to stay positive through all of this here. That's why the strength card is here. But somebody is losing shit. Somebody is losing a lot of shit here. This is karma. Karma is playing out right now, Taurus. I don't know if you're witnessing this karma or if you can see it, but somebody's somebody's having a hard time. And you released this shit. That's you up there with the Empress, the Eight of Cups, and the Devil in Reverse. It's like, no, I'm not being held back by this situation anymore, whether it be a third party or no third party. You're just like, you're done. It's over. But yeah, somebody's trying to stay optimistic here and stay positive, not letting these hard times get them down or whatever. But definitely a loss, a, a big, big loss here. What's this three of wands with this ace of cups? So now you're waiting for your ships to come in, Taurus. Okay, you're going to be falling in love here. What's this three of wands with the ace of cups? Yeah, the hangman. So you're seeing you're you're seeing things from a different perspective, right? You're seeing why this here happened. Okay, I feel like this is what this hangman is. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces here with the hangman. You're shifting your perspective on your love life here, on whatever this is that's going on with your love life. Okay, what's the three of wands with the ace of cups? Okay, yeah, two of wands. So you're just here waiting, Taurus. You, you guys could be traveling. If you live at a distance from this new love, you, you're you going to be traveling to see them or they're coming to see you here. So you're just waiting, okay? You're trying to plan accordingly here. So you guys could definitely be moving. One more for the three of wands with the ace of cups. And the hangman with the two of wands. Okay, yeah, the chariot moving forward. Definitely some travel involved here. Things taking off pretty quickly. Could be dealing with the cancer. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Strength card, ten of cups, three of cups, ace of cups. Yeah, you're going to be blessed here with a new love. Because this shit here that you are dealing with went sour real quick, I feel like. Yeah, but you're definitely moving forward here. You're just waiting. Um, I don't know what you're waiting on. But um, you're looking into your future here with the two of wands, three of wands, definitely looking towards the future, not really thinking about the past. You've let the past go here. And with the hangman, I do feel like you shifted, shifted your perspective and you're releasing. That's what this is. The hangman, you're releasing the past and you're letting it go because you're not stuck anymore. You're moving forward. That's just you releasing the, um, you know, the residue of the past, your your emotions, your your feelings and shit like that. You're letting that shit go and you're moving forward. So definitely new love. Could be a cancer or a Pisces or a fire sign. Yeah. So let's see a potential outcome for whatever this is that's going on here for Taurus. Potential outcome. 
spare for Taurus. Let's see. Yeah, your intuition is the news. Because <laughs> I don't see nothing. I see one page of cups here. But I don't see nothing about no communication. Really. I just see that you're moving on. Your, your intuition is telling you to do so. Yeah, look, the sun at the bottom of the deck. Yep. Six of cups and the hangman. Ace of pentacles. Yeah, this is new here, Taurus. Some of you guys could be going towards somebody that you do share past lives with. If it's not your twin, if this situation here is with your twin... They have to get through that shit. I don't know what that shit is, but you're meeting somebody that you connect with, that you have a deep soul connection with here in place of your twin because they don't have their shit together with the Six of Cups energy. But the sun here is going to make you very happy. For some of you guys, there's pregnancy, there's fertility in the air. But the Six of Cups and the sun, definitely a pregnancy or fertility, okay, is here. So be careful if you don't want to get pregnant. What else? For the potential outcome for Taurus, please. Potential outcome for Taurus. So illumination here with the sun. Could be dealing with the Leo or have Leo in your chart. Potential outcome here for Taurus. Hmm. The magician in reverse. <laughs> what else? For Taurus. Three of Cups. What the fuck is this magician in reverse? What is this? What's the magician in reverse? King of Wands. Seven of Swords. Yeah. You know, Taurus, somebody here is bitter as fuck. Let me get one more. Let me see. With the Seven of Swords, I was at the bottom of the deck. What's the magician in reverse with the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands? This person... What's the Magician in reverse with the King of Swords? I mean, King of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You know, somebody here is doing spell work galore. Like, somebody is really doing fucking spell work. It's not even funny. So, the outcome, I feel like you are going towards happiness here. It's three of Cups with the Sun. This is your energy. You're going towards straight up happiness. That's for you. Whatever this Magician in reverse is with the Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, three, uh... This shit is going to be illuminated here. I feel like this is coming out. This is coming out. This some, Whoever's doing this spell work is coming out. I feel like you know this intuitively already, Taurus. But I feel like something is going to be exposed here. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is mad as fuck. Somebody is... Or this is you, Taurus. Somebody's trying to knock you off your A-game because they're mad that you're moving on. Somebody is pissed off that you're going towards a reconciliation. There could be multiple people here. Okay, a reconciliation with this pat new love here. This past life soulmate. soulmate. That's a reconciliation for somebody that you're... You maybe haven't seen in this lifetime, but they're coming back this lifetime to be with you here. Okay, that's because reconciliation doesn't have to mean that you know this person already. You guys are reconciling in this lifetime because it's meant for you guys to be together right now. That's somebody that matches your energy. But if this is your twin or something like that, because there's divine counterparts here, a twin flame connection. This shit here, th this person has a lot of shit going on. I don't know if they're the ones that's better doing spell work or if this is this Queen of Pentacles here that's doing spell work in reverse. Somebody lost money. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is definitely dark magic. And the Seven of Swords with the Magician in reverse, definitely spell work. Most definitely. That's that's just what's going on here. So somebody's still going to be doing spell work for the outcome. Somebody's still going to be a thief, a con, a loser, a liar. It could be a fire sign or another earth sign doing spell work. And that's not affecting you any. That's why I feel like that's not your energy that's being affected by it. It's your person. So whoever that you were dealing with that broke your heart here, dealing with a bitter ass energy, that's who it is. For some of you, it is your person doing spell work because they're mad at you're moving on. You've turned your back on this shit. You don't, your energy is definitely not the same. Okay. It's not, it's not like how it used to be. You're not going to keep giving your energy to no bullshit here. If somebody can't be truthful and tell you the truth, then okay. Oh, fucking well, bitch. Oh, well. It's not your fucking problem. So let's get some guidance messages here for Taurus Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I'm thinking I should pull some, um, uh, I don't know. It says burdens lifted. Yeah, someone will help you succeed. Working together brings progress. Delegate so you can delegate so you can rise up. So it's, that's like ten of wands in reverse. You're transforming and you're moving on here. Burdens are lifted for you, Taurus. You're not being bothered with the bullshit. What else for Taurus? Because this shit here is messy. Ram spirit. You could be dealing with an Aries. Be bold enough to be your true self. 
Show determination to, to achieve success. Allow your leadership to take over. So you could be stepping into a leadership role here, Taurus. And I do feel like you're in masculine energy. Aries is masculine energy. Okay. What else? The T. Yeah. <laughs> Habits are creating drama in your life. Distance yourself from gossip. Careful who your friends are. So definitely some of, there's a lot of gossip, like I said. This Queen of Swords is gossiping. And they have people there. They're gossiping to multiple people. With the Six of Wands, that's multiple people. A crowd of people. A mob of people. This person could be... I, I don't know what they're doing. But the tea is going to be spilled here. What else? And whoever this is is dealing with this Queen of Swords. They need to get out of this shit. This is why... Exploration, entering into uncharted territory, extend your horizons, keep an open mind and explore. Okay, what else? I just heard something about Sagittarius. You can have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. It says entangled. Yes, yeah, stuck in a complicated situation, stuck in a rut or repeating a cycle. There is no easy extra strategy. So yeah, this is this T card and the entangled card is not your energy. Just period. It's somebody else's. It says ray of hope. Keep your head up. Keep fighting. There's light at the end of the tunnel. All is not lost. Just delayed. Yeah. So that's that person here. I feel like that's you and your person's situation here. It's been a big delay. And, you know, it's out of both of y'all. Well, it's out of your control, really. What else for Taurus? Okay, we have ans Ascension. I thought it says Ancestors. It said Ascension. You're transforming old patterns, rewriting the chemistry of your body, emerging out of suffering. Yeah. Then we have Goddess. That's you, Taurus. Awaken the Goddess within you. Express your divine feminine energy. Unleash your magic. Yep. Bottom of the deck is Euphoria. Melancholy as seductive as ecstasy. The first stages of falling in love. Feeling that collapse. A feeling that collapses time. Yeah. You're going to be falling in love here, Taurus. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to be in love. You're getting ready to be in a nice relationship here. Let me see something. Let's pull a few of these real quick since this is a love situation. Let's see what comes out for Taurus spirit. Please give me a few here for Taurus to clarify this spread. Please. Let's just see what this says. Oh, shoot. There's one card in here. Okay, seven of cups, regrets, ego, yeah. Damn, I wonder if this wanted to come out in this prayer. It's a seven of cups, confusion, illusions here. Somebody's confused as fuck. And it's this fucking spell work. Mm, for Taurus spirit, what's going on for Taurus? Please clarify this spread. <sighs> Bottom of the deck is superficiality superficiality it's easier to be superficial and be accepted by society by society yeah then we have three as a crowd i thought two was better than one but now i'm torn <laughs> then we have restricted i feel restricted and confined by my circumstances jealousy it kills me knowing there could be someone else in your life <laughs> child whoever this third party is is jealous that's why they ass is stuck to this jealous ass evil ass hoe what else what else for um it says opening up i closed the door before but i'm now ready to let you in of course you are <laughs> now that i'm finally moving on you're ready yeah let's see what else for taurus it's crazy it says awaken love now i know and understand that i'm in love with you yeah then we have but you were a player it says i've been playing the field not ready to settle down okay what else for taurus Yeah, it says karmic love. See, that's a third party. This love is too painful to keep holding on. Then it says, wow, this is soulmate. You are my soulmate, a dream come true. So this is, um, this right here with karmic love and soulmate, you're, this is your twin flame. They're in karmic energy or whoever you were dealing with is definitely a karmic. They're in karmic energy, whether they be twin flame or not, they're in low vibrational energy, put it that way. And now here's your soulmate coming in. You are my soulmate, a dream come true. So that that's what this is. yeah so taurus i just wanted to pull a few of those because that's that energy that's coming up thought i should pull a few so yeah three's a crowd third party there, there's too many people involved in somebody's business and they don't have no control over, over their own shit they're letting these people run their life and you're just like well i'm not that bitch i don't let people run my life i'm true to myself and if people don't like it they can kiss my ass <laughs> the crack of it and everything else so 
whatever so this was your reading tours like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye